has shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Hey, the guy on the mound is absolutely pounded in the zone, and that's why he's been able to stay and pitch deep into this game. Well one below one. the knees, laid off on the changeup there. The 1-1. One, one. Swung on and missed for strike number two. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Here comes the one two. Good job to spoil that one away and he stays alive. The next one two pitch. Nope, Ball two. Down. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Turned on, but it's wide of first and foul. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Great A-B up until this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. And he fouls this one off. I know that fastball registered at about 92-93, but I guarantee you it looked about four to five miles an hour faster than that for this offensive player. After coming off a curveball, the old push the throttle and pull it is being used. Another full count pitch home. Pulled high in the air out to right field. And the sixth inning opens with a fly out one away. To left fielder number eight. Robbie Grossman. So next to bat will be Robbie Grossman. Struck out in his last trip to the plate. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Ready coming at him with the 0 and 1. Well, that's off the plate. Bases are empty, one man out. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground to the left side. That one's in there. And the perfect game will go by the wayside. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Yeah, Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with a single swing of the bat, and this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they can get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. At the plate now, Nico Goodrum. He offers at it and sends a bouncer out to short. Throw gets him, two down. Now that the set of people. So stepping in is Victor Reyes, trying here to plate the tying run from second. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Ball in. Yanked hard, but foul to the right. In there, one and two now. And that misses two and two. Tried to work in the backdoor breaking ball there for a strikeout, but he just couldn't quite get it to come back to the corner. That's a really tough pitch to hit if you can spot it. Hot shot to third. So they do get their first hit, but their first run will have to wait as the inning is over. Tigers lead one. They trail this one, one to nothing.
Stepping in once again is Adam Engel. Flew out last time up. The center fielder, Adam Engel. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Grossman is right there, and it's a very quick out number one. Now batting, right fielder, Leori Garcia. Up next for Chicago, Leori Garcia flew out in his only at bat so far. First pitch of the AB now. And this ball's going to find the seats down the left field line. Foul strike one. One out, nobody on. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. Right fielder giving chase. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. The batter number seven. Shortstop. Here. Anderson. Tim Anderson will stride in again, and you can bet he'd love to do again what he did back in the fourth. A solo home run here that's been the only long ball of the game so far. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. Boys, we see the pitch count. It's hard to remember the last time we saw a guy pitch this efficiently. Hey, this guy has really been attacking the zone, and this lineup has been more than happy to swing at a lot of pitchers' pitches so far. The 0 1 pitch. Swing and a no miss, ball. and he's in the hole 0 2 now. Hey, this guy's got to be pretty proud of what he's done so far. It's never easy to pitch on the road, but to have this kind of outing in a ballpark that is notoriously known as being hitter friendly it's been a treat to watch swung on and missed and that's the final out of the inning one two three go the White Sox but they're up one to nothing now at the plate here is Harold Castro and guys seventh inning already hey I'm not complaining but this one's been flying by yeah I'll agree with that Matt that's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all and they've trusted their defense to make the plays and they've done just that nope. yeah and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings you know, because this is just a one-run game, this doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. One and two now. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's his wind-up. I don't know if it's just flat stuff. But he's getting a lot of swings outside the zone, and he's having a big game. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes now thus far. Nice job there taking care of the leadoff hitter via the strike. And I'll tell you, in a one-run game, especially this late, getting that first guy in the inning is so important. It changes the whole complexion of the inning. So that was a big out. Into the box now, Miguel Cabrera. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three game so far. So only the second hit he's given up tonight. Yeah, man, he's locked in and pretty dominant since the first. So as long as he can get back in that groove with the next batter, he's not going to worry too much about it. And that'll bring up Wilson Ramos. Yes, he'll take a look at a curveball that drops in there on the outer half at strike one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. And it's quickly 0 2. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. That's a big strike out there with the tying run over at first base. Now, with two outs, it becomes a lot more difficult to manufacture that guy home. Probably need a ball in the gap to give him a chance. Standing in now, Willie Castro. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. No hits to this point.
the 0 1 pitch. Now a big fastball and he's well behind it with the swing. So far this has been a terrific outing for this guy throwing well keeping his pitches to a minimum locating his fast got him looking and that'll do it the inning is over one left for Detroit they're on the short end of a one to nothing score last half of the seventh here and that will bring in the second baseman Nick Madrigal. Here's the first pitch. As he will swing and miss on a fastball on the outer half, it's strike one. That was a good swing right there. Might be the best one he's had all night because he was right on it. Grounded weakly to the left. Barehanded at his knees. Oh. Got him. Now back the designated hitter. Yay. Wham. Striding forward now is the DH. Jake Lamb. He grounded out last time up. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. Here it comes. Pitch is popped up. And quickly, oh. there are two away. And this is not an easy the play when you have to range to your right. He really didn't have a chance to get his feet set, so this is all arm. Nicely done. So here's the slugging first baseman, Jose Abreu, now. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Reyes is underneath this one. And that will retire the side. Down in order go the White Sox. But they lead it one to nothing. Now it'll be Akil Badu. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Akil Badu. First pitch coming. Here it is. 1 0. And that swung on and missed on a pitch down. 1 and 1. Something that stood out to me in this game is the lineup's lack of a solid plan at the plate. Seems like way too many guys are chasing pitches out of the zone and trying to hit pitchers' pitchers like that one down and away. There's no success in that. One two. Still a ball and two strikes. Another one two delivery. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out, a strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. In now, Jamer Candelario. As he'll take one on the inside corner at the knees, it's strike one. Got him out in his front foot. It's 0 and 2. Man, this dude is locked in on the mound. He's throwing each pitch with confidence. Protecting on 0 and 2, so we'll do it again. Lynn's ready. Here's the pitch. And right into the shift. Reined in. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Next for the Tigers, Robbie Grossman. A hit and two tries for him so far. And now the first pitch. Yeah. 
This is one of the things that makes him so effective as a pitcher, able to pound the zone with all different options. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Fouled away. Hey, that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0-2 count. Inside as he might be trying to set him up here one and two. And he's going to add to the total. 14 punch outs now as that ends the inning. Down in order go the Tigers. It remains one nothing. Gregory Soto is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 65. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And next to hit is the catcher, Yerman Mercedes. Now here it comes. High in the air down the right field line. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Whoa, that is out. Now the Tigers have some action in the bullpen as a left-hander starts to get loose. Outside, oh, 2 outside. and 1. Well, that backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's a very effective pitch. If you can hit the outside corner of that pitch, it's unhittable. Three balls and a strike to the Chicago leadoff hitter. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. The three and one pitch. And this is taken here for ball four. So the leadoff man's on base to kick off the home eight. That leadoff walk is a great way to start this inning when you're looking to pad the lead. Could be the beginning of good things here in this half inning. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And that'll bring up the former top prospect as a minor leaguer, Johan Moncada. On the stretch. Liner towards second. But this is hauled in by the second baseman. Into the box, Andrew Vaughn. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, and the defense is thinking, give it to us again and we'll roll it over all day long. Don't think that's not in his head right now as he steps to the plate. Hit hard back up the middle. That's through when he's got his first base hit. He's one for three. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not okay. able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dan. Send it back right where it came from. So now here is Adam Engel. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Now the first pitch. Committed to that one a bit too soon as it locks him up for strike one. In a big spot like this, you have to be looking for something you can handle. That pitch bunched him up completely. So I think he's trying to do a little bit too much right now. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. From the stretch. And here's a swing and a miss. And that, folks, is a big out number two. You hear that phrase, climb the ladder all the time? That's pretty much what he did right there. When you change the hitter's eye level with each pitch in that at bat, it becomes very hard for him to adjust and put the bat on the ball. He made that strikeout look real easy. Stepping in now, Leori Garcia. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. Oh, for two for him to this point.
into the corner and slicing foul. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. In the dirt here. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Ready with the 2 1 to the right side and through a base hit. And they'll put the brakes on that runner at third, and that means the bases are loaded now with two away. What's so frustrating as a pitcher, you make a quality yeah. pitch on the inside half of the plate right there. Try to bust him in, Devo, and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player. Fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like, a knock's a knock. Keep this a one run game, the pitch. And she'll come up empty oh, that time on a sinker at strike one. Hey, that's the kind of swing you'd like to see a guy take with the bases loaded. He's going for the downs. The 0 1 offering. He put himself in a good position jumping ahead 0 2 with the bases loaded. Now we'll see if he can finish it off. Mercedes on third. Vaughn over at second. Garcia on at first with two down. Now this is on the ground to second. Is he going to get out of this? Over to first. He does get out of it, and the inning is over. White Sox will strand three. They lead it one to nothing. New inning set to get underway and set to go is the second baseman Nico Goodrum first pitch of the A.B. now a fastball here as you'll take a look at ball one one and oh after watching that one go by and a ball being called you could rest assured he knows he's not getting away with another one of those I guarantee you he's going to be aggressive on this next pitch. home hey. I mean, he's coming right after him Matty three fastballs in a row and that's into the corner a foul ball in right Got him. And that's number 15 for the ball game. He's just bringing up strikeouts left and right. But what's really impressive to me, he hasn't walked anyone either. He's just pounding the zone. His stuff is dirty today. So now to the plate, Victor Reyes. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Wind up and the 0 1. Goes the other way, and this is in the air out to left. Vaughn comes on now and puts it away for the second out of the inning. Now that designated hitter, Harold Castro. Next will be the designated hitter, Harold Castro. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. Now here's the pitch. I'll hit sharply as this is pulled into right. And that'll get by and on through towards the wall. And 
hold all tickets now as the tying run gets into scoring position with a two-out double. Everyone knows there are no awards for successfully getting 26 outs. You need to get all 27 before you can start celebrating. But that two-out double here tonight, putting the equalizer on at second base. A couple of minutes ago, this thing looked like it might be over, but everything can change with one swing of the bat. Stepping in next, Miguel Cabrera, and his guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with the runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one. They've had runners on base, but haven't been able to string anything together. First pitch on its way. Oh, that's that. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. Here's the 1-1. One, one. relatively sparse crowd comes to their feet one final time. Struck him out, so he'll strand the possible tying run at second, and a great job of working out of trouble as this ball game is over. Yeah, and we knew he was in a group for the first inning, and he just kept this thing rolling and rolling and rolling. They couldn't get anything going against him. A dominant performance with a complete game shutout. And that one run held up tonight, one nothing the final. Chicago took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Lance Lynn earns his sixth winning decision in this one, and it's a dandy, a complete game, three-hit performance. Matthew Boyd is settled with a loss after giving up only one earned. So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com. First for the victorious White Sox, one run, four hits, no errors, they left four men on base. For the Tigers, no run, three hits, no errors, they left three men on base. Time of the ball game, a swift two hours and 19 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.